I think we can go ahead and get started. If that's okay with everyone. Sure. Um, I know Bill can't be here. Um, so good evening, everyone. Tonight is Monday, December 21st, 2020. The time is 6.03 p.m. This is the Town of Halifax Finance Committee meeting. On tonight's agenda are budgets, FinCom budget sheets, accept acceptance of minutes, reserve fund transfers, questions from Drew regarding vehicle inventory, correspondence, public participation, calendar, and as may arise. Um, so for budgets, um, Sandy and or Charlie, is there anything that you want to update us on for right now? Um, I'll give you the bad news, which I, I do not even remember at this point, even <laughs> not that anything else is going on, but obviously it's Christmas season. <laughs> We're all thinking of other things. I think I emailed you all about the bad news on the retirement account in that the county usually does their assessment numbers every other year. So we get two years of assessments in the sense that we know two, you know, one year and the second year. They updated the assessment instead in a, within a year and our assessment went up $100,000 from what was projected for fiscal 22. So. I mean, not at this point, but suddenly we have to find 100,000. What it means simply is that the money we thought we might have available um, when I ran those first preliminary numbers last month is $100,000 less than what was there. Um, so it's not, it doesn't make or break anything at this point, just sort of narrows the, the margin to play with, the amount to play with. Um, the only good news I would say is, and this is all, hypothetical at this point is with the vaccines rolling out is, you know, will the economy by July of 2021 look something like we would think it should? Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of that is going to depend on whether businesses that generate sales and meals taxes are going to be up and running. Um, and whether people feel confident about going back to their regular shopping habits. Um, we'll see. Um, what's a little strange, of course, is the folks who are getting it first and they, well, they should, are probably the folks who are actually going to be not going to restaurants and not going out shopping and everything. So it all works out. Um, but, you know, the $100,000 hit was a big gulp. Um, and I'm going to find out more. I, there's no, I'm not, I'm sure there are no errors in there. I need to talk to Plymouth County and find out a little bit more about why the assessment went up in that if we're making, you know, anytime we raise salaries, the assessment is going to go up. And, and that includes whether they're straight wage increases or we're increasing stipends. So for instance, when we increased the paramedic stipend or the firefighters from an average of 5,000 up to I think 10 and then boosted it again, um, though that boost wouldn't have gone into there. The uh, valuation is based on the numbers they have of January 1st, 2020. It, mm -hmm. you know, all those numbers, all those increases do factor in to the assessment schedule for retirement. Um, and I have a query out, well, why would you skip that? I'll just stay, stay with the retirement system you know, maybe get more information during the next few weeks. It won't change the number, but when we're discussing pay increases, whether it's reunion or non-union or things like that, it can serve as a reminder about the long-term effects of a pay increase of any type. That's it. Hey, Charlie, when you get a second, could I trouble you to forward that on? I didn't get that email from you in either of my I inboxes. didn't either. No, no I don't think you sent it, Charlie, because I didn't see it either. Yeah, so that never it would never have gone out. <laughs> but, um, it would you know, I wasn't quite sure whether I'd sent anything out. <laughs> I'll look for that though. Okay. Thank you. Kelly, I think you sent it to me. Yeah, yeah, because I like sharing trouble with you, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, the FinCom budget sheets. I saw we we have attachments in our email. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me just pull up. And with those, we should just 
familiarize ourselves with each of the areas that we're responsible for? So the, um, yeah, I, I think what one of the things that would be helpful, like when, as the budgets start to be returned from the departments early in January, you'll see that um, they'll fill in um, their budget sheets with what their requests are. Um, you'll see um, notes. So what each of these, you'll see multiple sheets in a workbook. Mm -hmm. Each sheet is, will correspond to a line number in the broader budget. So departments okay. could have two lines, one for expense and one for wage. They could have 15 lines and break it out into, you know, vehicle maintenance, um, uniform, whatever. Um, so there'll definitely be a range in terms of how many sheets you might find in a workbook for each um, department. Um, and they'll also, there might be, I mean, a lot of department heads are being really um, good about using that note section to detail out, you know, here's an increase in this line, it's for X, Y, Z purposes. Um, some of them may just kind of make a brief note for their own, um, like to remind themselves and then have the conversation with you like in full about what that line, what, you know, what they want to tell you about that line. Um, but we will all have copies of those, copies of all of those sheets, all of those workbooks um, when we start working on the budget. And that way we'll say, all right, we're, you know, we have um, highway in front of us, highway is lines, you know, I don't know, 70 to 85. All right, let's pull all those up. Let's look at line 70 is a level. Line 71 is an increase. Okay, why? Who's the person talking to highway? And that's sort of how all of the meetings will go once we get the budget sheets in. We'll, we'll use those as references to have our discussions and we'll start taking, depending how things look, we will use those sheets to start taking some preliminary votes. Um, what we've done in the past is um, just to get a sense of where we are, we voted to recommend every line that was either level funded or a decrease, just as sort of a baseline. It doesn't mean that we stay that way. It just gives us, um, you know, we could, we could start to work through a little bit based on the previous fiscal year's budget. And then maybe we, we turn to the lines that have increases on them. Like I said, it doesn't mean that level funding will stay level funding if we hit a really big financial snag, but we like to work off that presumption that, okay, let's, let's see if we can give everyone what they had last year on those lines and then turn to the ones that have increases with justifications for them. Thank you. So if I, if I may for a minute, I think what I actually attached to you was just your own finance committee budget right. sheets. Yeah. Because I think that you, like, if you wanted to vote on the, um, keep it, I just filled in what I figured the figures to be, but you guys mm -hmm. would need to vote if you wanted to keep, you know, put the wage line at a, that certain rate and then keep the finance expense the same or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll vote on our, that's a great point, Linda. We're going to vote on our own. We have two lines to ourselves as well. Um, so like yeah. we're an example of one that's going to have a small, like only a couple lines, but other departments will have quite, you know, several lines um, for, you know, to kind of break out what uh, their expenses are. Um, okay. Any other questions about the budget sheets for right now? I know like once we actually start seeing them filled in, it'll, it'll be a little bit easier to, to talk about concrete examples, but if anyone has questions now. Um, the acceptance of meeting minutes. So many thanks to Linda because of her, we've got meeting minutes from Monday, 12, 7, 2020. The committee members present were Cheryl. Fred, Melinda, Tom, Bill, and Drew. So just as a reminder, only those who are present can actually vote on whether or not we accept the meeting minutes. So I would entertain a motion to the Finance Committee to accept the meeting minutes from Monday, December 7th, 2020 as printed. I make the motion. Second. Second. Okay, we've got moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor, I'll roll call. Cheryl? Aye. Tom? Aye. Fred? Aye. And myself, Melinda, I. All right, thank you again, Linda, for doing those. Certainly. Um, Melinda, could I just just go back for the uh, minute on the budget sheets? Did you did you all want to take a vote on those amounts, or do you just want me to pass them into Sandy with those amounts, and then you can vote on it later? Or I just have to turn the sheets into yeah. Sandy, so I don't know if you guys want to put those. 
I think, like, correct me if I'm wrong, folks, around last year, I think that we just passed them. I, I don't remember us taking a vote on recommendations before we submitted as like a department, but I'm, it was a year ago, so I could very well be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> As long as you guys trust the numbers that Linda gave you, I don't, I, I don't know what she did, but she would definitely have a handle on the, um, the wages yeah. one. So I would just trust her number on that. Yeah. On yeah. the um, expense budget, it depends if you wanted to put more money in for more training. I'm not sure. I mean, you were going to do that one year and then it was a bad year. So we took it back down to level funded. Yeah. So yeah. Linda just needs to know from you whether you want to level fund mm -hmm. and then you can make, you know, make your recommendation afterwards. It's just you as a board and how you want to submit your budget. Okay. That makes sense. Um, sorry for skipping over that. I didn't mean to. That's okay. Um, all right. So let's pull up the budget sheets for the finance committee. So we have line 10, which is wages, and then line 11, which is our expenses. And they're all on sheet one of that workbook that's titled Finance Committee Budget Sheets FY22. Okay, so um, we have, so filled in for um, wages and salaries under line 10, um, we have, for FY22, it'd be $4,830. Um, this would reflect the, Linda, do, is this um, longevity and um, a step? So it, there wouldn't be longevity involved in this because I haven't been with the, um, that wouldn't affect your budget. Mm -hmm. And then it does include a step which I would take in September. So it's one rate from July 1st to September 1st, okay. and then a different rate for the rest of the days from September 1st to June 30th. Okay. And no increase on across the board or anything like that, because obviously you'd have to wait for town meeting on that. Right, right. Okay, so just to clarify, folks, this would include the um, one step increase um, within the band in which the position, even though honestly, obviously we know Linda, you are in the position, but we'll just talk about the position. <laughs> um, a one step increase for the person occupying that position would bring it up to $4,830. That does not include if we as a committee later on decide to vote in favor of an across the board increase for all town um, non-union employees. Um, this does not count that. This is just reflective of a level service budget, including um, a predicted step. Um, so we can have a conversation about this in a sec, but I would entertain a motion for the finance committee to recommend the amount of $4,830 as our department request for FY22 line 10. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. Moved and seconded. All right, any further discussion or questions? Hmm. Okay. All those in favor, I'll roll call. Cheryl? Aye. Tom? Aye. Fred? Aye. And myself, Melinda, aye. All right. And next we have, if you scroll down, we have the Finance Committee expense line. This is line number 11. And you'll see that last year, town meeting approved $359. Um, to provide a level service, we could, off, we could ask for the same amount, $359. Um, this includes our membership in the Association of Town Finance Committees, which some of us um, took advantage of uh, their annual meeting uh, last month, the month before. Um, it also um, count, uh, so you, you'll see the 180, which are the dues, um, and then you'll see um, we have a supplies line, just in case we need supplies, um, but also meeting attendance, that's if any of us go to trainings or things like that. Um, we have tended to spend a good amount, I think, of the 359, but to, in my memory anyway, and Sandy and, and Linda, you might remember this more, I don't think we've ever gone over our expense line, at least in the last few years. No, you haven't. Right now, you're currently at $104 left. Okay. Um, so we can have a conversation as soon as we move it and second it, but I would entertain a motion for the finance committee to recommend the amount of 
as our FY22 department request for line 11 expenses. I make motion to recommend 359. All second. Moved and seconded. Any further questions or comments? I think I'd be hesitant to go lower than that for right now because we are onboarding some newer folks who might want to take advantage of more trainings. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's in a better position to keep the budget, I think, the same place. And then we can always give back unused funds as opposed to finding ourselves in a bind if there's like a training comes up and folks want to go. Right. Okay. Um, so we have a motion and a second. Um, any further questions? If not, um, all those in favor, I'll roll call. Cheryl? Aye. Tom? Aye. Fred? Aye. And myself, Melinda? Aye. Okay. All right. Thank you again, Linda, for doing those. Sure. Okay. All right. Next up on the agenda, we have reserve fund transfers. We have none. Awesome. Um, we had questions from Drew, Drew concerning our vehicle inventory. Um, so he po he did ask these questions um, in an email to which none of us responded so that we could have this discussion in open forum, obviously. Um, I don't think Drew's here tonight. So we could maybe wait on that if folks are okay. I would we could table it since I think he's the ones with the he is the one with the questions. So it might be fair to allow him a chance to ask questions and participate. Yeah, I'd recommend we table it. Yeah, I would too. Okay, so I would entertain a motion for us to table the discussion of vehicle inventory. I'll make that motion to table the discussion on vehicle inventory. Second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All right, all those in favor, I'll roll call Tom. Cheryl. Oh, sorry. Aye. Tom? Aye. Fred? Aye. And myself, Melinda, aye. Um, Linda, could I please trouble you to pop that on the next meeting agenda? All right, um, correspondence. We all received correspondence concerning logging into our town emails. Um, if anyone's had issues with that or problems, um, let us know. But other, otherwise, I think that's the only, um, besides the packet from Linda with our budget sheets in it um, and tonight's agenda in minutes, I, I believe that's the only correspondence that we've received as a committee. The only other thing that you did get was just the list of the upcoming um, Selectman's meetings, they put it out once a year. So I oh, have that. Everybody has a question about it in the future. Was that one of your attachments, Linda? I no, I got it. it. Um, I just got it in the mailbox. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, public participation, if anyone has any questions or comments for us. Or talent they'd like to share. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> calendar. Um, all right. So if we take a look at the calendar, um, I think um, Charlie, did you? I know you're working on it. So if, if you don't have a date yet, please don't take this as me like nudging for it. Um, I just want to make sure I, I didn't miss something when we're going to post for the meeting uh, concerning um, uh, wage and personnel. It's, it's on my to-do list for this week is okay. to meet up for you or select money finance, but also the departments, um, both some dates, but also um, the protocols we're following, procedures we're following now that we don't have a wage and personnel board, mm -hmm. more general, but I'll be having dates. I, you know, I have a note to myself in there in, in the draft that basically says, Probably the last week of January, either at the finance committee meeting or the selectmen's meeting, I'll use that as a formal date to have people have a deadline to bring in amendments. But mm -hmm. I'll clue them in that they should not expect any you know, huge discussion at that time. Basically, mm -hmm. all in the selectmen will take anything under advisement and then get back to everybody, sort of like wage and personnel did. Mm -hmm. and we'll go from there. Okay. Um, and you have a, um, we have a hard, hard deadline for the budgets from the departments for, was it Friday, January 8th? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm wondering then what folks think about us doing Monday, January 11th and Monday, January 25th. 
Um, I don't, obviously we're not going to have all the budget sheets compiled and things like that by the 11th. Um, but whatever we have received that maybe came in early, we could start taking a peek at, we could start having some preliminary discussions. Um, and then the 25th, that might be the week we end up having wage and personnel, but, um, Sandy, especially if you would rather, like, if you think a different arrangement would make the most sense, feel free to let us know. Yeah, I think the 11th and 25th would be good. What I'll do as the budget sheets come in, mm -hmm. I will send electronic copies to, um, well, let me ask you, is it better that I send the electronic copies only to the um, liaisons or do you want electronic copies of all of the budget sheets? I think if, I mean, I don't know if we have an out, if we have the outlook feature to use SharePoint or whatever it is they call it, where we can just all file share from the same place. I think that might be the easiest to have because then when we have the budget discussions, normally we'd share the binders, right? Um, right. It, so it might be helpful and, and to keep you from so having- So do we have that, Charlie? Do you all the, have- um, The SharePoint? Yeah. I don't know. This is the spring, this, give me that back, that's spring book, that's the one. I'm sorry. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I think that I will talk to our data processing person and it sounds like we might because we do have Outlook, we use Outlook. So if we can do it that way, that's what I'll do. I'll talk to him, I'll load it up on, the, on that and it, that way everyone will be able to see it. Yeah, it look, I just signed in because I was in my Halifax Outlook and I went through and it, there's an empty SharePoint um, in that Halifax one. So we could probably just create like the finance committee one. And and like you said, if then you could just dump it all in that one folder. I think that'd be a lot easier. That, that sounds great. Okay. I will um, talk to Caesar about how to do that. Okay. Okay. The possibility would be that you can use Google Docs as, a, as shared documents. Google Docs? Yeah. I think we have. Yeah, I think in Outlook though, we have we have Microsoft's competitor of Google Docs. So yeah. Either either way, I'm I'm good right. either way, but it might be easier okay. because you've got it all ready to do it that, that way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and, and right. I think from using Outlook at work, I know that when a file is uploaded, you get an alert. Like you can set up alerts for yourself when there's been movement in that shared folder and stuff like that. And if we're all trying to like, I know that'll help me make sure I use my town email all the time as opposed to like CCing my, my old Gmail and stuff like that. So. That oh, sounds good. Awesome. Um, all right, so calendar. So folks, if we could reserve Monday, January 11th and Monday, January 25th for meetings, that would be great. Um, and then we'll, um, we'll kind of reassess in January. We might start just posting for, every Monday night from there on out. Like, let's take a look at how we're doing. And then if we don't have anything for the for a particular Monday, by the end of the previous week, we can always cancel, but right. we can't always book. So mm -hmm. it might be safest to just handle it that way. Okay. Um, anything else under calendar? Okay. I don't have anything. Anything under as may arise? Did everybody get to check, um, make sure that their liaison list looked okay? Yeah. Yep. I, yeah. I took a quick look and it looked like what we had talked about. And I just put in all of the emails for the um, for the new town one so that you, that mm -hmm. took your personal emails out of there. Okay. Awesome, thank you. Sure. All right, um, okay. Unless we have anything else in our eyes may arise, I would entertain a motion for us to adjourn at 6.27 p.m. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor, I'll roll call us out. Cheryl? Aye. Tom? Aye. Fred? Aye. And me, aye. Melinda? All right, everyone take care. Hope you have a great holiday season and a much better 2021. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> Sorry, but than yeah. what we've been having, but it's still good to see all your faces and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Have a good holiday. Happy holidays. 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 Uh,